Good morning children today we are going to start with the geography chapter the earth and the solar system in this chapter we will discuss about the sun and its planet and earth basically because it is the only planet where the life exist i just want to give you a little knowledge before we start off that in this chapter we are going to read about the celestial bodies or heavenly bodies which include stars planets satellites asteroids comets and meteors now the distance between the heavenly bodies that is celestial bodies in the universe is measured in the light years number 3 the stars are huge hot bodies of gases which have their own heat and light now the solar system has the sun eight planets satellites asteroids meteors and comets the sun is our main source of heat and light and sun is the star also the eight planets are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune jupiter is the biggest and mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system all the planets rotate on their axis and revolve around the sun from west to east just keep it in mind that all the planets rotate on their axis and revolve around the sun from west to east the moon was the only known satellite up to 1610 in the solar system the main belt of asteroids lies between the orbits of mars and jupiter a comet has a long luminous tail which grows larger as it comes closer to the sun the meteors also called shooting stars are known as only when they enter the earth's atmosphere so this is a general introduction of this chapter in which you are going to cover now before we start with the chapter i just want to show you one picture here in this picture you can see we live on the earth and our earth is the part of the solar system and solar system is in the milky way galaxy and milky way galaxy is in the universe children the universe is so big that there are millions of galaxies in this so in which galaxy we are living is the milky way galaxy and it is also known as akashganga now moving to the next there are few terms which you should see here here i have explained you about the in the beginning also i have given you in the introduction celestial bodies so the sun moon plus all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies stars they have their own heat they radiate a large amount of light for example the sun pole star there is one star which always remain in the same position with respect to the earth our ancestor used the star to navigate the route navigate the route means they used to we used to travel means our ancestor they used to travel because they came to know about the route through this pole star only because it always located in the north direction so they they were clear about their directions through this pole star so this is also called the north star then constellations children you must have seen in the night sky there are group of stars which are forming sub patterns so these are called constellations the ursa major or saptarishi rishi is the most common you can see very easily in the sky now here is the diagram of pole star you can see see it's a opposite question mark this is you can see opposite question you put the question mark like this but this is an opposite question mark or uh, and in the last two stars you straight away if you cover there is at some distance you will see a very bright star is there that is called the pole star and it will always be located in the northern direction now these are the group of patterns which are formed in the sky and these are 12 constellation of zodiac signs children in the month we in which everybody has their some has a some has some zodiac sign 
like for example the children uh, who born in the august they will form a leo zodiac so this is also there so you, you if you see clearly at night you concentrate at the night you can see all these zodiac signs also in the sky now here the next is the rings belt of small debris you can see them with the help of powerful telescope only and now you have seen some uh, planets in which you can there is a ring around them so there that is not a basically a ring it is a small debris okay as uh, small particles moving around it that is that forms a ring then orbits planets move around the sun in a fixed path so there are planets but these planets always move around the sun they have only single path they will not move here and there uh, out of their path path and this path is known as orbit and this path is elongated means it is oval shape like an egg now the next term is geoid so our earth is a geoid in shape why it is called geoid shape because it is flattened at the poles and it is bulged at the equator here is the diagram of your sun and its eight planets so mercury venus earth mars these are called inner planets then comes your asteroid belt jupiter saturn uranus neptune they are called outer planets and about uh, after neptune there is a kuiper belt where before kuiper belt is the pluto earlier pluto was uh, considered as a planet but now it is considered as a dwarf planet because it is very small then there is in asteroid belt there is series also there is comets also okay then move to the next here is the solar system so before we start with the solar system let me explain you that the word sol it has come from the roman mythology which means sun god okay then solar means related to the sun the family of the sun is therefore known as solar system the sun eight planets satellites celestial bodies like asteroids and meteorites they all are the part of the solar system now let us discuss about few things about sun everybody knows that sun is the center of the solar system which is made up of extreme hot gases it is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system now next is the planets there are eight planets in our solar system in order of their distance from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune and they all move around the sun in a fixed path known as orbit which we have done it earlier in the terms also so just to learn mercury venus sequence of mercury venus earth mars jupiter you can learn one single line my very my very educated mother just served us nuts if you learn this line you will know the sequence of the planets now the next is few points which you can cover mercury is nearest to the sun it takes 88 days to complete its orbits and venus is also known as earth's twin just keep it in your mind venus is also known as earth's twin why because the size of the earth is equal as of venus or you can say venus is equal to uh, similar size to the earth there was a new planet which was discovered and it was named as 2003 ub313 and it is very far from the sun but details of this planet was not available so it it is not included in our solar system so we'll forget about it now the third planet of the solar central system that is the earth we'll discuss about it it is the only planet it's a unique planet where the life exists why the life exists on the earth because here water is there here land is there okay atmosphere is there all the three things are uh, are present here in which 
the human being or the living organisms can live so important things in this there they are there it is the third nearest planet to the sun it is the fifth largest planet and slightly flattened at the poles hence its shape is described as geoid it is flattened at pole that is also that is why it is known as geoid we have done it in earlier terms also now third point we have written about the earth is it is neither too hot nor too cold and water air oxygen all the uh, makes the life survival easy on the planet now we'll discuss about the another celestial body that is the moon so our earth has only one satellite that is the moon in the beginning of the introduction i have told you that till 1610 moon was known as the only satellite in the solar system okay but later on we have come to know about the uh, other satellites also there are human made satellites are also there so its uh, diameter of the moon is one quarter of that of the earth means one fourth part if we divide the earth into four part the one quarter of the uh, earth part is the diameter of the moon you must have done in your maths di what is diameter it is about 3 lakhs 84400 km away from the sun it moves around the earth in about 27 days and takes exactly same time to one spin due to which only one side of the moon is visible theek okay? hai means if it is moving around the sun it takes about Uh, sorry it if it is moving around the earth it takes about 27 days so you know everybody knows that uh, when move uh, when a uh, uh, moon moves around the sun the earth is also spinning so same time to one spin due to which only one side of the moon that is why it is uh, it is uh, uh, only one side we can see uh, of the moon then no existence of the life is there mountains plains and depressions are seen on the surface which cast shadows on the surface of the moon because if when when you see uh, from from the earth the you can see some uh, shades falling on the moon that is just just a depressions these hollow surfaces then it lets reflects the light of the sun which results in changes of its shape theek okay? hai moon has don't have its own light it reflects the light of the sun clear so let's move to the next now because there are changes in the size of the moon sometimes it is full and sometime it is new moon full moon is also known as purnima and you can see it only once in a month and after 15 days or fortnight you can see, no you will not be able to see it at all and that time it is called new moon night or amavasya got it clear to everyone now here is the picture of asteroids i have shown you in the diagram also see this is this is the asteroid i'll i'll just show you I'll come back to the uh, this so this is a asteroid belt okay so these are rocks that sometimes it was planet out here but because this planet was exploded and these rocks rocky things are there so this is asteroids let's move to the asteroid again so this is a picture of asteroids now apart from the stars planets satellites there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun these bodies are called asteroids see after uh, around the sun stars also move uh, planets also move satellites also move okay and along with this there are uh, asteroids these bodies these are tiny bodies which move around the sun this is called asteroids found between the orbits of mars and jupiter just to learn it clearly i'll just make you back again mars and jupiter this is michael jackson i'm for michael j for jackson it in this or uh, asteroids are found between the orbits of mars and jupiter jahan pe mars is there planet is there jupiter planet is there i'll just show you once again here is it see this is mars and this is jupiter jupiter and in this is the asteroid belt forming here now then is the asteroids are the parts of planets which exploded many years back so i have told you earlier also there sometimes it was planet that is also it is it is also known as planetoid now we'll move to the next is meteorites see this in which you said tuta tara so this is meteorites so meteorites are also small pieces of rocks 
they also move around the sun okay so these are meteorites sometimes what happens they tend to drop on the earth okay but due to the friction with the air when they come in contact with the air it heats and it burns up okay then because of it heating up and because of its burning up they causes a flash of light sometimes meteorites without being burnt fall on the surface of the earth okay sometimes they don't burn but they just fall on the earth and they causes a hollow means the depression wahan pe hold sa bana dete gadda bana dete okay then is here is the milky way galaxy which is akash ganga and in this akash ganga in this milky way galaxy the universe it is in the universe this spiral galaxy in which we live which where we our solar system exists now let's talk about the galaxy a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars clouds dust and gases in this galaxy uh, galaxy there are billions of stars there are clouds also there are dust also there are gases also okay so our solar system i have told you in the beginning only that it is a part of the milky way galaxy okay and in ancient india it was imagined imagined to be the river of light flowing in the sky so in ancient times what what the people used to think that in the sky there is a because it is a white color they if you see see white shadow in the sky and that is why the uh, people used to think that is a akash ganga okay so now millions of galaxies make universe if how a universe is formed millions in universe there are millions of galaxies and one of this galaxy we people live now fun facts are there i'll just tell you jupiter saturn uranus have rings around them these are belts of small debris these rings may be seen from the earth with the help of powerful telescope only those who study the celestial bodies children keep it in your mind the those who study the celestial bodies and their movements are called astronomers aryabhatta was a famous astronomer of ancient india now i have told you uh, that um, a light travels at the speed of about 300000 km per second how how much speed is there light of the light is or you can say 3 lakhs kilometer per second yet with the speed of light the sun takes 8 minutes to reach the surface of the earth okay are, are you clear that speed of light means the sun the light of the sun that reaches to the earth surface it take 8 minutes to reach here on the earth from the sun now another fact is there that neil armstrong was the first man to step on the surface of the moon on which year 1969 and date was 29th july now satellite is a body that moves around the planet in the same way as a planet move around the sun now what is satellite it is a body that moves around the planets how they move in the same way as the planets moves around the sun so there are also human made satellites it is an artificial body it is designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or flow communication for example they have given us insat irs edusat etc so <coughs> this is the end of the chapter so i think you must have clear uh, image of the chapter in your minds and you can understand them very 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 carefully so children questions will be asked after when they whenever the test uh, will be given to you okay all the best stay safe thank you